73% of people are afraid of public speaking. Now I could tell you all, how do you overcome that fear? How do you overcome that fear of public speaking and get to the top of the 27%? But why does that even matter? If 73% of people are afraid of public speaking, that means seven out of 10 of us here are afraid of speaking in public. And we're doing just fine, right? Seven out of 10 people are surviving with their fear of public speaking. So what's the point of even overcoming it then? Let me tell you a story. Before I do, I'll introduce myself. My name is Halia. I'm the founder of TalkMaze, a global public speaking company that trains students in public speaking. I have over eight years of public speaking experience. But why does it even matter? 73% of people are getting along just fine. And so was I. Let me take you back several years. I was a very shy child. I still remember the comments on my second grade report card that Galia needs to speak up more and engage with her classmates. My teachers were so concerned that I wasn't socializing. I didn't have friends, I wasn't speaking up in class, and my parents would get called in because of those concerns. My, my older sister, Hanya, is my best friend, and we would spend our recesses hidden behind a shed at the corner of the playground, far away from where the other kids were, because I didn't want to interact with other people, because I didn't think my voice mattered. What would me raising my hand in class do? There's 30 other kids in the class who could do that. I don't need to go and make a friend there. They already have friends. I didn't feel like my voice could make a difference. I felt ashamed and embarrassed to speak up. So, how did that change? Let me tell you a story. Before I do, I'll introduce myself. My name is Halia. I'm the founder of TalkMaze, a global public speaking company that trains students in public speaking. I have over eight years of public speaking experience. But why does it even matter? 73% of people are getting along just fine. And so was I. So let me take you back several years. I was a very shy child. I still remember the comments on my second grade report card that Ghalia needs to speak up more and engage with her classmates. My teachers were so concerned that I wasn't socializing. I didn't have friends, I wasn't speaking up in class, and my parents would get called in because of those concerns. My, my older sister, Hanya, is my best friend, and we would spend our recesses hidden behind a shed at the corner of the playground, far away from where the other kids were, because I didn't want to interact with other people because I didn't think my voice mattered. What would me raising my hand in class do? There's 30 other kids in the class who can do that. I don't need to go and make a friend there. They already have friends. I didn't feel like my voice could make a difference. I felt ashamed and embarrassed to speak up. So how did that change? I joined the debate club at my school in seventh grade and that's what changed my life. In this space where I now began speaking up, I, I was forced to speak up with, um, in this environment, and it felt comfortable. I had to debate my opponents, and I realized all of a sudden, my voice wasn't ignored anymore. In fact, I, I remember my first debate tournament, I'm speaking, sharing my ideas, and I'm freaking out, because I didn't think my ideas were good. I didn't think they mattered. I, I had spent my whole life not talking that much in my classes, at school, so why would this debate be any different? But there was a difference. The difference was that my opponents that got up and they engaged with the arguments that I had made, what I had said had made an impact on what they were about to say. The judges that provided feedback, they listened to me and they provided feedback. I finally felt heard, even if it was just by my opponents who were now engaging with my arguments and with the judges who were providing feedback on what I had said. I felt like the words that I was saying, arguing for a certain topic, were actually influencing the minds of people who were sitting in the audience. And debate helped me realize the power of my words. Instead of feeling ashamed or embarrassed of speaking up and hiding in the corner like I did when I was a child, I started competing at national tournaments because I could use my voice not only to influence my opponents, the judges, but people around me. I could use my voice to teach others to speak at stages like this and inspire them. And so I started then coaching some kids in public speaking and debate because I realized that this is powerful. I, I finally feel confident. It's a completely different feeling than before. And that takes me to my second story that I want to share with you. So 
As I was coaching some kids, there is this one particular child that stood out to me. He was 12 years old when he joined the speech and debate group that I was coaching. His name, we'll say, is Edward, and he, he was very shy. It was obvious his mom had pushed him into doing the speech and debate with us. He would sit at the back of the class. We had little applications for the kids to join the team, and he wrote one sentence responses. He wasn't interested. He didn't want to speak up. And for the first few sessions, he did. He stood up. He was at the back. He reminded me of myself when I was younger. He was completely disinterested, not wanting to speak up. And then something happened. We got to our lesson of acting. So in speech, we teach them one category of solo and duet acting. So now, Edward got the chance to get with his friend and act in front of the entire class. And this person was one of the shyest kids that I had taught. He got in front of that stage and he blew everyone away with his talents. People in the audience, just his peers, they were laughing. They were engaged. This was in a classroom while we were doing a speech session and this child who had been completely shy, his mom had come and talked to me about how worried she was that he's not speaking up, now got in front of the stage and started talking and being confident because when he was acting, he felt comfortable. But most importantly, he felt hurt because he saw his peers laughing when he made jokes. He saw his peers applauding him. He realized that the words that he was saying when he was acting, the actions that he was doing, they were making a difference. And then he went on to compete at tournaments to win them, to get awards for speaking and acting because he had finally gotten out of his shell found that space of support, and realized that, that fear of public speaking wasn't just about him. In fact, once he overcame it, he could use that power of words to influence others. For me, it was as simple as realizing that the things that I was saying were actually affecting my opponents. They were engaging with them, or that the judges were impacted by them. For Edward, it was the laughs in the classroom when they heard him talk. And he realized that he was being heard. So when we think about public speaking, we often wonder, okay, how do I fix my public speaking skills? I need to be more confident, I'm so afraid. But the first step to doing any of that is understanding why it matters so much. By building public speaking skills, I've been able to run my own business, I've been able to become a leader in my community, I've been able to give talks like this, but more, most importantly, I've been able to improve my day-to-day -day conversations. I've been able to make friends so I don't have to keep hiding behind the shed with my sister in the playground. I've been able to feel more confident and use that confidence to change the lives of others like Edward, who I then encounter. And Edward, he's been able to use that voice to engage others, to now become a leader in his community. Because public speaking, isn't just about standing up here and talking. It's not just about giving a speech. It's about the way that we carry ourselves day to day. It's about the way that you talk to your peers. It's about the way that we engage with our mentors. It's about how we take leadership roles in our communities. Because when you finally realize that your voice can change lives, when you go to school and you speak up in class, your voice is being heard by 20 to 30 of your peers and the content of what you're saying could make a drastic impact in another person's life. So that shift from how do I build these skills real quick, public speaking, I need to overcome this fear, to why should I even be investing in this and understanding that your voice has the power to change the lives of thousands, you're going to encounter thousands of people in your life and you can use your voice to influence them and to make change. So how can you go about changing that in your own life if you're afraid of public speaking, if you're working on overcoming that? Three action items for you today, and I hope you take those up. First of all, daily affirmations. Remind yourself that your voice does matter. Things like, I am confident, I deserve to be heard. Those kind of affirmations can help you remind yourself that your words do matter. You should not feel ashamed to speak up because your unique opinion can add value. It can empower others. Second thing, speak up every day wherever you can. It does not have to be a TEDx talk. It does not have to be a big presentation. 
because public speaking is not just for politicians or people in the public sphere. It's for everybody. It's for everybody because each person's unique voice adds value. So speak up wherever you can. Whether that's in the classroom where you raise your hand, whether it's with a new coworker, go out for lunch with them and start networking. Or even if it's at home, speak up wherever you can. And finally, listen intently. Because chances are, there are people, 73% of people around you, many of them also don't feel heard. And you can be the one to remind them that their voice does matter and that the words they are saying are influencing someone and that person can be you. So use affirmations, speak up every day, and listen intently. Because your voice matters. Speak up every day like you can change lives, because you can. Thank you.